Hi, I'm Joshua Whitley, NACER's IT Administrator, and in this tutorial I'm going to be covering how to use a new tool developed by NACER, the Query Builder for the NACER Standards for Cancer Registries, Volume 2, Data Standards and Data Dictionary. To access this tool, you will need a MyNACER account. To sign up for one, click the Login button in the upper right-hand corner of the NACER website. Then click the New Visitor Registration link. Once you have a MyNACER account, navigate to the Standards and Registry Operations menu and click on the Volume 2 Data Standards Data Dictionary page. Once here, click this link for the Query Builder where you will be asked to log in with your MyNACER username and password. Now that you're logged in, you'll see the main interface to the Query Builder. There are two options available to begin creating a query. You can either start by choosing fields to add to your query yourself, or you can select an existing template of fields to load as a starting point. I find that the latter is easier to begin with. Once you've selected a template, you will see the fields listed below. Click the Query Database button to retrieve your results. As you may notice, the results below look exactly like the required status table in Volume 2, except with retired items included. The usefulness of the Query tool is the ability to modify the fields that are included in the query results and export your results in XLS or CSV format. To modify the fields, simply check or uncheck the associated boxes under the Request Fields header then query the database again. You can also change the sort order of the results. To export the results of your query, just select the format you'd like, either XLS or CSV, and click the Export button. Once the file has been generated, a link will appear that you can click to download, download your exported results. Now that you've done all this work to customize a query just for your organization, how do you save it? Well, that's pretty easy too. Just modify the template name at the top and click Save. Make sure that the template name is as descriptive as possible so you remember exactly what this template is used for. Now the template that you've saved will appear in the list of templates that's available for you. Once you click on that template name, it will load the exact same list of fields and the same sort order. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions about this application, please contact us at info at